Are you born? Hope you are ready for the lesson 4 in Unit 3, Multicultural Societies in Grade 8, Civic Education. Today we are going to learn the cultural diversity of other countries. As a country and a nation, we need to work with other countries and nations. When we plan to live as peaceful, good citizens, we should know about the other multicultural societies too. Why? Such knowledge supports us to work cooperatively and peacefully without problems and conflicts with other nations. At the same time, we should be able to communicate on what we learn in both English and our first languages. During our previous lessons, we studied the cultural diversity of Sri Lanka, different customs and traditions, different festivals, functions, and the importance of knowing multicultural societies. Today, we are going to learn the cultural diversity of other countries. Especially, we are going to pay attention on India and United States of America. So, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to highlight the different cultural features of United States of America and India and describe the diverse features with reasons and communicate on it. Before starting today's lesson, let's summarize what we have learned during our last lesson. Yes, we studied how multicultural society was established in Sri Lanka, how cultural diversity affects our lives and the importance of knowing the cultural diversity to lead a good life. Can you remember? Okay. Okay. Here's the activity one. What do you see? Study carefully. While studying, write down all the words that comes to your mind. If you write more than ten words, try to group them and give one word or phrase to that. Take a little time and study well. Okay, hope you have finished. This is how I did it. The colors and symbols tells us the diversity of religions, languages, festivals, art and literature, clothing and food in India. How about your answers? Are the same? Are they same, similar or different or slightly different? Hope you have written similar answers. Your teachers and elders will help you to check them. Then see whether you are close to the given answers. Maybe you have written different words to give the same meaning. Such answers are acceptable. Okay, let's evaluate the answers. As usual, you can have these phrases. Hope you have gained a yellow color smiling face. Have you? Well done.
Here is my second activity. Here are the facts we highlighted from the image. Let's read the given text on India and find examples for each. You need to copy down the list in your writing book. What are they? Religions, languages, festivals, art and literature, clothing and food. Shall we start? Yes. Let's start reading. While reading, you can write the examples for each fact. India. Culture is defined as a people's way of life. It also entails how they dress, speak, the type of food, the manner in which they worship and their art among many other things. Indian culture, therefore, is the Indian's way of life. The Indian culture is a blend of various cultures belonging to diverse religion, caste, relig regions, follow their own tradition and culture. Indian culture is one of the oldest cultures in the world. The Indus Valley Civilization dates back to 3300 BC to 1300 BC. Religions. India is birthplace for, of four major religions such as Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism and Buddhism. Other religions exist as minorities here including Abrahamic religions. Many religions coexist in India such as Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism, Buddhism, Islam, Christianity, Zoroastrians, Judaism and many more. People of all religions live together with great peace. Languages India is home to numerous languages including Sanskrit which is one of the oldest languages in the world. Other languages such as Hindi are commonly spoken throughout the Indian subcontinent with regional variations. As India is a land of diversity, different types of languages are found across different places in India. Each area has their own languages. The prominent languages in India besides English and Hindi are Bengali, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Urdu, Gujarati, Punjabi and many more. Festivals There are different types of festivals celebrated in India with joy and happiness. Different people celebrate different festivals as per their religion, caste and culture. People celebrate national festivals like Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti. They also celebrate religious festivals like Diwali, Holi, Durga Puja, Dushra, Vasant Panchami, Eid, Guru Nanak Jayanti, Mahavir Jayanti, Buddha Purnima, Christmas, New Year and many more. Young generation also celebrate Mother's Day, Father's Day, Friendship Day, etc. Art and Literature Art, Literature, Theatre and Film including the world famous Bollywood films and architecture have flourished in India for centuries and they continue to flourish today. The Ramayana is one of the oldest known epic works of literature. India has full of talents in the field of art or architecture. Indian art includes paintings, rangoli, plastic arts like pottery and textile arts like woven silk, 
etc. From ancient ages, paintings are a part of India art. Examples include paintings of Ajanta Cave, paintings of Ellora Cave, etc. Rangoli are the art generally made by the female members of the family. It is an art of colors. India is rich in architecture and it is one of the great achievements of India. From ages, India has great number of architecture like rock cut temples of Mahabalipuram, temples of uh, Tanjgwar, Kanchipuram, the Taj Mahal and many more. Clothing Clothing style in India varies from region to region, state to state. Indians wear both traditional dresses and western dresses as well. When a child is born, langotas and loincloths are the only clothing equipment to cover the whole body of a child. Apart from all the western clothes, Indians have their own ethnic wear like Dhoti, Kurta, Salva Kameez, Sari, Shrivani, Turban, etc. Kurta is one of the famous ethnic wear of men in India. Nowadays, it is generally worn by the people during festive occasions. Similarly, Sari is the popular choice, of, choice for female members of the Indian society. A sari is a long garment that woman wrap gracefully around her body. Sari is the most fashionable dress for Indian women around the world. During religious and cultural events, Indian women are mostly seen in beautiful saris. Food Culinary Traditions not only in taste, but also in the way of cooking. Indian foods are totally different from the rest of the world. Indian foods showcase the perfect mixture of tradition, culture and love. It is evolving from ages and that's why there are different forms of Indian food. As per the region and state, Different kinds of Indian foods are available like Bengali food, Gujarati food and many more. Indian cuisines are characterized by spices and wide array of ingredients. Based on the area, different forms of food are available such as North Indian food, South Indian food, etc. North Indian food mainly includes items which are bread related like tandoori roti, naan, kulcha, etc. East Indian food mainly relates to staple food such as rice and sweet dishes like roshagolas, sandesh, sweet curd, etc. South Indian food mainly includes items which are made of rice powder like idli, sambar vada, upma, dosa, etc. Okay, let's check the answers. What are the religions found in India? Yes, Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism and Buddhism, then Arabic, religions, Islam, Christianity, Zoroastrians, Judaism and many more. The languages Sanskrit, English, Hindi, Bengali, Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, Urdu, Gujarati, Punjabi and many more. Do you know there are nearly 1,200 native local languages in India. Then the festivals. Religious festivals like Diwali, Holi, Durga Puja, 
तुझ्या राव वासान पांचमी ईद गुरु नानक जयंती महावीर जयंती बुद्ध पौर्णिमा क्रिसमस न्यू इयर अँड मेनी मो नॅशनल इंडिपेंडन्स डे देन मदर्स डे फ्रेंडशिप डे फादर्स डे दोस आर ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेटेड इन इंडिया देन आर्ट अँड लिटरेचर पेंटिंग्स ऑफ अजांता केव पेंटिंग्स ऑफ एलोरा केव फॅन गोली बॉलिवूड फिल्म्स द रामायण रोका टेम्पल्स ऑफ महाबालीपुरम टेम्पल्स ऑफ थानकुअर कांचीपुरम ताजमहाल येस अँड आय थिंक यू हॅव हर्ड ऑफ कालिदासस महा सॉरी कालिदासस मेघदूत आहे द पोयट्री रिटन बाय सरोजिनी नायडू द इंडियन वीवर्स द सॉंग सनाली आणि सांग बाय पंडित अमरदेव इज बेस्ड ऑन इट अँड हिंदी फिल्म्स अँड सॉंग्स आर वर्ल्ड फेमस फॉर द हाय लिटरेचर इस्थेटिक वॅल्यूज येस क्लोदिंग लांगोटास अँड लाईन रॉड्स फॉर न्यू बॉर्न चिल्ड्रन Dhoti, Kurta, Salva Kameez, Sari, Shavani, Turban, Dosa, Deha, Clothing, Traditional Way of Dressing. Then the food. Different kinds of Indian foods are available like Bengali food, Gujarati food, North Indian food such as Tandoori, Roti, Naan, Kulcha and South Indian foods such as Idli, Sambar, Vada, Upuma, Dosa, and there are many more when we study this information it is clear that the diversity is originated mainly within the country especially the religions languages festivals clothing and food reflect the identity of pure indian culture and the variety it is less influenced by other cultures so that diversity in india is originated in the land itself with this influence of other country okay how about chances you can check your answers with the support of your teachers as usual hope you are sm- having a smiling face in a yellow color smiley face right if not go back to your activity and find where you have gone wrong okay let's move here is my second activity Here are the facts we highlighted from the image. Let's read the given text on India and find examples for each. You need to copy down the full list in your writing book. What are they? Religions, languages, festivals, art and literature, clothing okay here is my answer the country has four main regions it is a vast area the country is open to both east and west of the world for an example when we cross the atlantic ocean the european and african continents are there like german France, Italy, those countries are there. To the other side, when we cross the Pacific Ocean, the eastern countries like Hawaiian Islands, China, Korea are there. The second picture shows both black and white people. they have different human features and for an example the color 
white and black, the height, tall and short, the hair, straight and curly and black and white, but there is unity. They all work together and they are happy. This is what I observed. How about your answers? Okay, now you are familiar with the way we evaluate our answers. Hope you have got yellow color smiling faces with your correct answers, your correct information and correct spellings. Good. Okay, here's the fourth activity. I want you to read the given text on United States of America and find information relevant to the following areas. Let's write them before reading. What are they? Four main regions, vast area, open to east and west, black and white people, Difference in human activities, unity and happy. Shall we start reading? United States of America. The United States of America, due to its immense size and diverse heritage, has one of the most complex cultural identities in the world. Millions of Immigrants from all over the globe have journeyed to America from the 17th and 18th centuries. The blending of cultural backgrounds and ethnicities in America led to the country becoming known as a melting pot. As the third largest country in both area and population, America's size has enabled the formation of subcultures within the country. These subcultures are often geographical as a result of settlement patterns by non-natives as well as regional weather and landscape differences. While there are countless ways to divide the United States into regions, here we have referenced of the four regions. People from each region may have different lifestyles, cultural values, business practices and dialects. The pursuit of happiness. The United States Declaration of Independence state that everyone has unalienable rights to life, liberty and pursuit of happiness. People across the country have adopted this. As a country and a nation, we need to work with other countries and nations. When we plan to live as peaceful, good citizens, we should know about the other multicultural societies too. Why? Such knowledge support us to work cooperatively and peacefully without problems and conflicts with other nations. At the same time, we should be able to communicate on what we learn in both English and our first languages.
The Midwest is in some ways a blend of the other three regions. People here value hard work and individuality. These states are filled with some of the country's largest cities, yet outside those cities are and suburbs there is mostly farmland. The Midwest is sometimes referred as, to as America's breadbasket for its fertile soil and extensive farmland. Religions Protestant Christians, Roman Catholics, Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, Jewish. Languages English, Spanish, Samoan, Cameroonian, Karuk, Hawaiian, Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean, German, French, Russian, Italian. Ethnic groups the white, the black, Asians, Red Indians, Alaskans, Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders. Hope you have finished. Shall we check your answers? Yes, there are four main regions and four regions have different cultural features. The Northeast region is highly industrialized and have a life there which is fast paced. The West life is more relaxed with happiness and personal endeavors and they care for the environment. The South, they emphasize the family religion and conservative values and highly concerned on the hospitality and they have strong sense of community and it is uh, highlighted for the slavery and the American Civil War. The Midwest is blend of the other three regions and they have more farmlands. Then there in a vast area. It is a complex cultural identities available and a lot of subcultures are formed in this vast area. And it is open to east and west. As a result, the immigrants from all over the globe have come. And therefore, we can see different religions, languages and ethnic groups in the country. Black and white. Unlike other countries, native and non-native people are there. If we go to China, Korea or other European countries, we don't see such ethnic blend. As well, they have different human activities, different lifestyles, cultural values, dialects, etc. Yet there is unity and sense of community and they are happy. I think it is easy to understand, unlike in India, the diversity of culture in United States of America is mainly due to the immigration. However, both countries experience diversity in their multicultural societies. How about your answers? If you have got different answers, you can discuss them with your teachers and friends. And I hope you all are smiling with yellow color smiling faces. Have you? Okay, well done. Here's my last activity, activity 5. I want you to write answers for these questions. What are they? If you get an opportunity to visit USA or India, which country do you select? 
and you have to write the reasons for your answer. And the second one is, why don't you like to visit the other country? There also you have to give reasons. When you write answers for these two questions, you, it will help you to summarize the facts we learned today. Okay, and you can get the support of your teachers and friends to discuss your answers. Hope you have enjoyed the lesson while learning. If you subscribe, it is easy for you to get the other lessons. Thank you very much.